Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Yes, we're looking at the blue sky, beautiful looking day. The temperature is warming up too. Some locations might hit the big 5-0. We hit 52 for a high yesterday in Evansville. Today we're going to fall shy of that, but we'll be better than that tomorrow. The problem with tomorrow though, more clouds and the chance of rain really throughout the day. A little bit better chance in the afternoon, but we've got a chance for some showers in the morning too. You can see all the debris in the Ohio River. Uh, that of course is the Owensboro Riverfront. Earlier today, I forgot to post this. I'll post it later on. There was like a barge race going on. It, it, I've never seen, and I've lived basically on the Ohio River most all of my life, whether it's been in Owensboro or Evansville or Newburgh, I have, and it's like, you know, I grew up here, but it's like, I've never seen one, I mean, they were side by side, it's almost like a barge race, one going under this section, another going under this section, both heading in the same direction, upriver toward Louisville. Uh, pretty amazing sight there. Uh, don't see it now, of course, but it was happening this morning. A little bit of northbound traffic, plenty of southbound traffic there on the Twin Bridges. The water's still up. As I told you, though, the river has crested in Evansville. It's on the fall. It crested here in Evansville about four feet below flood stage. Now, it got above flood stage in Newburgh, still is above flood stage in Newburgh, but it is on the fall, so it should fall down below flood stage as we roll through the weekend. All right, here's what it looks like in downtown Evansville. Speaking of barges, you can see a barge nosing its way into view right there as it's about to round the bend as it heads to the west on the Evansville Riverfront. Pretty cool sight there. And the traffic, well, that looks good too. It's moving. And of course, 66 and 69, a major interchange here in the tri state. 20, 44 degrees. Temperature really starting to shoot up there just a little bit. And we'll probably hit higher than my three degree guarantee. I called for earlier today 45. I'm not going to change it because that was what my first instinct was. My psychology teacher in at Western Kentucky University, I always said, Ron, trust your first instincts. That's very important because I would, I like get an answer. I'd put the answer down. I'd cross it out sometimes and it'd be a wrong answer I would give after that. He said, trust your first instinct. I'm going with 45, even though I think it's going to hit 48 at this point. <laughs> even 48 would still work. West wind at nine miles an hour. Temperatures in the 40s pretty much everywhere south of the U.S. 50. U.S. 50, though, you got 39 in Flora, 37 in Vincennes, 36 in Ligoti. More snow and ice on the ground. That albedo effect in play up to the north. That's the reason why the temperatures are slower to respond where they're much quicker. And we've already got 50s on the board. 50 for Mama and Calhoun and 50 in Madisonville. Love to see that. Check out this sunset in Evansville last night looking through the grass. Uh, Lauren Long got that wonderful shot of the setting sun. Just a little slot of clearing, but that's all it needed in order to get all that color. Love that shot, Lauren. Lifers warning Doppler not showing a thing. We've got some clouds upstate in Illinois and Indiana. If you're traveling up to Terre Haute, Indianapolis, you're going to run across a few clouds, but not much to be had here, except up along US 50, a few clouds. But for most of us, though, enjoy the vitamin D. There's plenty of that to go around. Now, later on tonight, and I'm talking much later, after midnight, we're going to start to see the clouds pile up. Here we are at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, to the northwest and to move through the tri-state. First thing in the morning, definitely more clouds in play. Even a few showers on the board, too, as we work our Way toward mid morning, mainly north of 64. But as we go through the day, a better chance for rain. Now at six o'clock, most of the rain is out of here. Still a few spotty showers as a cold air is about to move in from the northwest. But I do think it's going to be a pretty nice evening. Temperatures will be in the low 50s, upper 40s. That's not bad. It's going to be a little breezy out there. But then that Arctic air pours in. You can see that wind shift. And here we go. We've got ourselves a very cold weekend headed our way. 45 degrees for a high today. Plenty of sunshine. Chilly, yes but typically chilly for this time of the year. 49 degrees in Beijing tomorrow for a high. So for the games tomorrow, looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit too warm for the winter games. Called for a high of 50 yesterday, got up to 52. That's a three degree guarantee winner. And Erica Posey, not of Posey County, but of Henderson. You've got yourself a sock cap, courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic and Fitness Center. And of course, the doctor was here just minutes ago. 45 today, 54 degrees for a high tomorrow. And then it's going to be a downturn this weekend, just in time for the big game, right? 33 degrees Saturday, 32 on Sunday. I think a lot of us will be inside. Valentine's Day chilly, but snuggle up with your Valentine. And then, then temperatures warming up into the 50s on Tuesday and Wednesday. I love it. Check out the oh, sunset. Oh, beautiful. Is that not a gorgeous That's sunset? Gorgeous. Uh, this was taken last night, and she zoomed in here. I want you, this is Krista Smith who took this shot. It's a bluegrass fish and wildlife area in northern Warwick County. And as she zoomed in, she got this great shot of an eagle's nest sunset. Oh, Look at that. Beautiful. The eagle in the nest and the gorgeous orange sky behind it. Good job. Good job. Well, when we come back, we get some game day food. Nick is here from J&B Barbecue. Yay! Oh, look at you.